Hello and a very warm welcome to my channel. Tonight, we give you a piece of breaking news, Meghan Markle reigned Prince Harry with sex and make him pathetic in a new tell-all. The Today Italia reported, the weekly Aggie, on newsstands from tomorrow, was able to read a preview of Meghan and Harry The Real Story, the long-awaited book by Lady Colin Campbell known for being very well introduced into real circles, which is creating many waited for the spicy rumors circulated. The title of them is, The Shocking Backstory About Meghan, She Reigned Harry With Sex. According to this report, the volume traces a merciless portrait of the Dukes of Sussex, she is era vista and manipulative, even sociopath in the opinion of a psychologist, make him succubus and pathetic by sex. Plus, the unearthed clip from Daily Star shows Meghan Markle and Harry leaving party straight after Prince Charles chat. The 45-second clip was first posted in October on Twitter, and the uploader claimed, remember the garden party held in honor of Charles's 70th. And the Markles were asked to leave 40 minutes in because of Meghan's behavior? They were escorted out along with their entourage. Meghan Markle was not happy. Indeed, also according to today's report, among the revelations, three days after the wedding, the new Dukes had attended the Buckingham Palace party for Charles' 70th birthday. After a quarter of an hour, Meghan was burst out by the future king, it's too unruly, go away, although Harry had replied that it was impossible, but Meghan Sulky had insisted in front of the astonished faces of the guests. According to other sources of the writer, the Duchess has made dirty agreements under the table. When Meghan was still a royal, she would have been paid to bring clothes and jewelry, that several stylists sent her. And then, the outbursts at the palace, one day an assistant had brought a dress to Meghan that she thought was wrinkled. She had thrown it on the ground ordering, I want it ironed properly. Immediately. In another episode, she threw a cup of hot tea at a waiter. The poor man had been muzzled with 280,000 euros in his pocket and the promise not to tell anyone about the incident. Cases like this also seem to be revealed in the new book, so let's look forward to it. Meanwhile, Page Six report, Lady Colin Campbell also calls Prince Harry pathetic in this new tell-all. According to this site, out in London today, Lady Colin Campbell's book Meghan and Harry, The Real Story. Note who gets top billing. It calls her an operator. It also calls her lots more. It calls him pathetic. It also calls him lots more. And don't anyone get their knickers in a twist because Pegasus releases this 400-page scorcher in the US next month. The cover is them together. Chapter 1, Campbell claims Meghan Markle immediately jettisoned British traditions that didn't suit her, she showed such rock-solid self-importance that Prince Philip nicknamed her Tungsten, although a divorcee, she defied palace dictum of cream color for anyone previously married and insisted on a virginal white wedding gown. Andrew's kid Princess Eugenie was to be a bride wearing, per Queen Elizabeth's promise, an emerald and diamond tiara. The book alleges Mimi Meghan demanded exactly the tiara, demanded her own ceremony precede Eugenie's, demanded Eugenie's nuptials be postponed, even demanded Her Majesty break the promise that Eugenie might wear that headpiece. Eugenie did later wear an emerald tiara at her wedding. Plus, the book has encyclopedic chapters on baby Prince Archie. Also, examples that Miss Mimi knew what she wanted long before grabbing the role of Mrs. Harry. I know author Campbell. Georgie, friends call her, is no shrunken violet. She knows from courts and lawsuits. However, she's acquainted with every royal going back to Catherine the Great. She also knows from bestsellers like her princess Diana Bios. And she said, I go into everything surrounding her pregnancy and all's been minutely vetted by lawyers. I have spoken to courtiers, Romeos, princes, princesses, relations, friends in detail. Knowing she intended to marry him from word go, they were desperate to talk. Still, I bent over backward to be positive. Campbell claims Meghan is a total opportunist. She knew in advance she'd embark on commercial ventures, which royalty strictly forbids. She now has what she wanted, a millionaire's life in Hollywood. She's caused Harry to lose most of his friends. He's weaker than she. He's run ragged. Despite the sex, she will make his life miserable. He has no strength of character to leave her. Meanwhile, in the previous video, we reported, 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle signed to a high-profile speaking agency that represents the Obamas and Clintons who can earn up to pounds 1 million per speech. And many fans slammed them for that, who would pay to hear them speak. What in the world do they have to say if that's important or relevant? The problem is they have nothing interesting, inspiring, or intelligent to say. I can't listen to either of them even for two minutes without getting bored. They need education and practice for years some serious credibility, and then maybe someone would be willing to listen. A fan mocked, first public speech will be about how to run away from responsibilities and family and disrespect the Queen and the Royals. Plus, she can teach you lots of tricks, like how to make much o money while lying on her back and how about fooling the world with a pillow stuffed over her belly. She's magical like that. Another added, and she and Harry sought out this company. They didn't headhunt Meghan and Harry. Meghan and Harry came to them for a contract. Isn't it interesting how JP Morgan has signed her for any future speaking gigs? Rumors are is that the room was incredibly uncomfortable as Meghan and Harry did their own thing on stage and Meghan played a loving wife. Meanwhile, the second named signed Nauman wrote, they are going to speak on social issues such as the environment. Are they stopped using private jets first? Harry's the only one that people would want to see. Meghan Markle would just be his plus one who will do all the yakking. Maybe she can be the keynote speaker at a Burger King or Dairy Queen national conference where she can share her burger grilling tips for customer service. A user totally agrees and replies, Meghan doesn't understand that this worldwide prominence comes from prior major undertakings such as being president of the United States. Meghan thinks the hiring companies will give her the world stage, that they will do the hard work for her. Tell us Meghan what have you and Harry done? Nothing but trouble, selfish, and mean acts. Another fan added, Obama and Clinton were presidents. What does M.M. and Harry have to offer $400,000 speeches about? Entitlement? How to ghost someone? How to live off the taxpayer? How to squat in a mansion for free? How to run away from responsibility? how to hate your dad. Not anything worth paying to listen to. However, the third explains, I have a feeling their professional speaking career will be short-lived. Their lack of content and Megan's demands for public attendees to sign non-disclosure agreements and to hand over cell phones at the door will backfire. Yes, she pulled that at her and Harry's lackluster JP Morgan event pre-COVID. Apparently the audience was uncomfortable as Meghan introduced the love of her life and he began speaking about his mother. It was completely against the mood of the room and the objective of the event. Funny how JP Morgan isn't signing them to speak again, sort of like how Disney refused any more work for her too. She sees herself as being completely relevant to what's going on in the world right now. But, she's not. She is a washed-up actress who married a dim bulb and then ran away when she couldn't handle the boring requirements of her new role. She will become increasingly irrelevant until she remains nothing more than an obscure footnote in history books. If somehow someday I ended up, not by choice, at an event where they were speaking, it'd take pleasure in standing up, turning around, and sitting with my back to them for the duration of their speech. Preferably as close to the front of the audience as possible, so they had a good view. It's more powerful than simply leaving. And the last one wrote, who would pay to hear them speak. Harry will play the victim about losing his mother and how living a life without a job and everyone paying for him and looking after him as he holidays and travels the world on a private jet was akin to servitude. Meghan Markle will love having a platform where she can rewrite her history, glossing over all those who helped her who she has now ditched and spout her hypocritical decrees about saving the planet and impoverished while she lives a life of excess. For me, I think that, nothing that probably any one of us could do. The comments on the video of Sussex Daily News Channel are far more interesting and funny more they could ever say in their word salad of a speech. To be honest, I think these speeches are just for the clique wealthy show-offs so that they can dress up and are willing to pay exorbitant amounts just to be one of the in crowd of wealth. It's a power thing, no one who pays benefits by it. Meanwhile, as I know, many of these paid speeches are really about companies buying influence with people who are seen to be powerful. Presumably, someone in the US thinks they are sufficiently relevant or they would never have been signed up in the first place. It remains to be seen whether they will be considered as valuable as Obama. 
I understand Clinton's currency dropped substantially after her loss to Trump. And you. What do you think about this couple? Please let me know in the comments section and we talk about them below. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you think they also loved it. Don't forget to subscribe to new version of the Sussex Daily News channel to get more news from Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and the royal family. Now, good night and see you in the next video.